I'm going to do a quick inspection on this project. Uh, we're going to be working down on the riverbank here. So they've been clearing brush and stuff, getting ready. This is old salt fence. That's not part of this project, fortunately. So we've got a swale, stormwater swale over on the other side of the salt fence that drains stormwater from a large parking lot. Uh, the company that we have to access our project through. So this silt fence is to protect the swale. Nicely installed, trenched in. Really secure. Zip ties holding it. Uh, yeah, it's really nicely done. have an overlap right here where they join two two pieces together and you can see how they've secured it with zip ties on the top on both ends here yeah that's really nicely done that's one of the better overlaps I've seen uh, oh, we got a little problem down here Have them fix that. But yeah, that's a nice installation actually. Uh, we're going to have a access road, a rocked construction entrance from the parking lot over here into the site. So that's going to go in soon. This is the brush cutter they're using to mow the blackberries and shrubs and stuff and the bank that we're going to be working on so brush cutter leaks they've got it in secondary containment nicely done i haven't seen that kind of that uh, company before but looks like a nice piece of nice pmp here nice material yeah that's that's really cool so, what else we got? Excavator with a small homemade drip pan under it. Um, they've been using those for years. I've worked with these guys before many times and they work pretty well. Um, they're two by four, two by fours and then clear reinforced uh, visqueen. So, they do get chewed up um, if you don't take care of them, but so far they've worked pretty well for these guys. What else we got? This is some old, this was a straw wattle years ago. Uh, I think that's probably six, seven years old. And look how strong it is. It's still all this plastic that's supposed to be photodegradable. Stuff lasts for years. The wattle is long gone. Um, it used to surround this lid here. Uh, in this project, they put in a catch basin sock, catch basin insert, when actually the TESC plan I wrote up shows that completely protected with 30 mil polyvinyl chloride or PVC so that nothing gets in there. Um, so I'll talk to them about that. As long as they're only coming in here, that's fine. If they go out, they're gonna have track out. So that road needs to get put in pretty quickly. Same thing here. I wrote the erosion plan to have them put 30 mil PVC under the grate to completely seal that catch basin um, and then set up a sump pump in this corner where the water's gonna back up. So they'll actually get some backup. They could put sandbags over here and create a sump area. But both of these catch basins drain into the swale over here. So these have to be bulletproof. I'll put a link to the uh, erosion plan. So, so that's the south end of the project. Um, some point soon they are going to have to put 
some kind of perimeter berm along here, whether it's compost sock or silt fence. Um, in my plan, I put in, I just told them to put in a sod berm, which would have, could have worked up on the north end where there actually was sod down here. They'll have to figure something, something else out. So we've got the uh, native fishery going. They started today. I think they get to fish for a week. It's for Chinook salmon run. So these guys are out here. They've got their nets set. Uh, I don't even see how salmon can get through. They've got net, nets set on both sides. You see where the nets are set here. There's one over there. There's one over there. Uh, there's one right here on this bank. These are assigned stations assigned by the tribes uh, that uh, that's the only tie-offs for the nets that can be used. So they're set up roughly every 200 feet on both sides of the river. Anyway, so I'm going to stop with that and uh, go to the north end of the project and do a little inspection.